Well, good morning, everybody. It is December 17th. A little bit of light snow, not too bad. It's about 10 degrees today, which is pretty good. We're headed out to the farm, just check on things. Got the truck running, a couple of dogs inside. Gonna be a quick video. Anyways, let's get out there. It is about one o'clock on Sunday, the 17th. There's our little town square. Well, you guys have seen this a lot. State truck. He just got done making his pass to Fairbanks. Here I'm getting some fuel in the truck. As you can tell, we have a multitude of different vehicles here at the farm. This happens to be a 99 Ford F-250 with a power stroke, as you can hear. Um, it's the truck George uses. Um, we also have that 94 Ford gas pickup that you see with the fuel tank in the back. And there's an older white 99 Ford um, truck as well. So there's a few around. But this is one that had me warmed up and running. Just run out to the farm to take a look at things. Take the dogs for a walk. A little bit of light snow. Just a nice December day. And I know this truck's noisy, so I'll do my best to talk loud, and if we can't hear it, I'll just voice over, I guess. So I guess this would be considered a typical midwinter day here. Um, it's the height of the day, one o'clock. It's as bright as it's gonna get today plenty light to do things. Um, the light's a little flat, so if you don't have any distinction, it'd be a little hard to tell where berms and edges are, but by no means is it, you know, bad. But plenty good if you need to get out and cut firewood, snow machine, just getting around. are back at the stop sign for the railroad tracks and as you can see the train was through not too long ago there we are going over the river good and frozen now What do you think, Dusty? Very good farm, huh? He's excited. So is Belle. Hi, Belle. So, yeah. I am sure next 
weekend we'll need to actually come out and do a little snow plowing. It's a little sporty getting through here now. So, not much going on this time of year. One, it's the holidays. It keeps us busy with uh, friends and family. Um, it's froze up and cold and snowy. Good time to take a break. So it's gonna be a little slow through the heart of the winter. Not much to see, not much to do. Hunker down and wait for spring to come. So without a big enough shop to put equipment inside, we're uh, delaying some maintenance and some items until spring. It's a whole lot nicer working on it when it's 30 degrees than uh, when it's 30 below, obviously. So show you around a little bit, and then uh, we're gonna get back in the truck and head back to town. So hope everybody's having a great day. There's Dusty Dog. There's Belle. Rosie stayed at home. So as you can see, most anybody lives where it snows. It is just that time of year. The land is sleeping. We do still have three more parcels to clear, another uh, 60 acres thereabouts. And there's a little bit more on this one too, but fighting the cold and the snow, just way too much effort for what little bit of gain, hurting the equipment and not doing a super good job anyways. Better off to take a break and uh, wait for spring, get organized and be ready to go when the weather warms up. So more than likely we'll be out here in the next week or two. We will need to do a little bit of snow removal. Make sure we keep things open. We are gonna need to bring some items out in the spring before they get into any uh, road construction or the road gets muddy. see driving in flat lights a little bit rough how easy it would be to actually run off the road if you weren't paying attention or just miscalculated a little bit it'll actually get better when it gets dark believe it or not these conditions are the worst possible light conditions to have. We're just a few days away from winter solstice. When that happens, we'll be on the other side and be gaining more daylight on our way to summer. So, pretty hard to believe we're already through uh, through the, I see the hard part of winter, it's not quite right. It's gonna be a couple more months, you know, 60, 70, 80 days. And then we're gonna be uh, well on to spring with pretty sunny days, warmer temperatures. Already looking ahead to equipment and things needed for spring. Make sure we have that lined up. So the planting uh, window is pretty small. Need to make sure I have everything ready to go from that planting window. So this is the narrowest section of the road. I know DOT does have some plans for it to take care of it and make it a little wider. If two cars meet, it's not too bad. You can squeak by each other if you're careful, but any kind of equipment, there are pullouts occasionally where a car can pull over. But if two big trucks were to meet, it's a whole lot more problematic, obviously. Okay, that's gonna wrap up this short video. 
We sure appreciate everybody subscribing and checking out the videos. It sure does help. The comments are great. Keep them coming. We definitely like that. And any input you have and any questions we can answer. Going to be putting together a video on phase two of the Ag Project to get you guys some maps and some information. So if there's anybody that's interested in bidding on some of the new Ag parcels next year, um, try to get you down the road with some information in that. Anyways, it is a snowy one. It is getting cool. So I'm going to head back to the house. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. You know, pretty much everything I do around here involves an episode of Lassie. There are collies everywhere. Say goodbye. I guess that was goodbye.